Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkazanki, and this is a guide in which I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill mutated Jadinkos. Kuradel assigns this task, um, and you need 91 Slayer to kill the mutated male Jadinkos, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, or if you don't have 91 Slayer, you can also get assign them at level 80, where you can kill the mutated Jadinko babies, or 86, where you can kill the mutated Jadinko males. Um, these are quite good money because they drop a lot of noted herbs and stuff like that. Um, you can also get Jadenko favor points, and I'm going to be showing you a little trick that you want to make sure that you have before you start killing these guys. Um, but I'll go into that in a little bit after I go over the gear and setup and everything. Um, so I would recommend if you do have 91 Slayer, kill the mutated Jadenko males. All of them are very easy to kill, uh, but the males are the best XP, so that's what I would recommend killing. They are weak to melee, so I am bringing melee here. Um, I'm wearing Dragors. If you do not have Dragors, wear Chaotic Claws. If you do not have Chaotic Claws, bring any other Chaotic Weapon that you might have, or a Bandos God Sword, Ceridome and God Sword, um, even something lower tier than that, like a Whip and an Offhand Dragon Longsword. But um, regardless... For the setup that you want to have, I have a Mighty Slayer helmet, um, you, or just any kind of Slayer helmet. Uh, it doesn't have to be fully upgraded. A Max Cape, you absolutely have to have a Max Cape to kill these. Um, no, I'm just kidding. And an Amulet of Fury, if you don't have a Max Cape, wear a Skill Cape or a Fire Cape. Um, or a Glory, if you don't have that. I wear War Priest because I wear War Priest for everything, and it's just awesome. Um, you can also wear Bandos armor, or you know even Barrows, if you don't have the money for Bandos. And then uh, I wore War Priest gloves, Rage Fire boots. You can wear War Priest boots. Um, they work pretty much just as well. And a six stage circuit. If you don't have that, wear a Warrior Ring or a Ring of Wealth. Um, in my inventory, you really don't need much for this task. Um, since they drop a lot of food, they do hit quite a bit of damage, but you will get a lot of food drops, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, if you are like 99 defense, um, you won't really have to worry about damage at all if you have at least a Bunyip. So I just have a teleport out. Charming Imp, um, Extreme Set, and Witch Doctor Mask. If you don't have a Witch Doctor Mask, um, I do have a guide on how to get those, so you might want to check that out. But you can just bring a Juju Teleport Spirit Bag. Just type that right into the GE. It'll look like a little brown bag, and you just buy one, and you click on it, and it'll teleport you to that spot where it just teleported me. Um, See, so the Witch Doctor Mask isn't a requirement to get here or anything. I'd recommend just to buy one of those bags, though, if you don't have the Witch Doctor Mask, because it's really annoying to get here um, if you can't teleport here. So I'm going this route, um, and there's a bank deposit box here, which is really useful, especially if your inventory fills up during the task or something, and uh, you don't want to leave drops on the ground. Basically, if you're really cheap like me, and you don't want to leave herbs and stuff on the ground, you can just quickly come up here and deposit. So I enter this vine. Um, if you have not been here before, you need to go into this dungeon through the other entrance, uh, and enter, and you there will be some vines on this large root thing. You need to chop the vines, and then in the future you can use that shortcut. I'm just going to show you really quickly on the world map because it's not that complicated how to get there. Um, basically, this right here where my mouse is is the Jadenko habitat, and this right up here is um, the other entrance to the Jadenko lair. So you can just run straight up there uh, after you teleport with your Juju teleport spirit bag and uh, enter through that entrance and it does not take very long it's not very far away it's not too much of a hassle but you just want to make sure that you unblock that entrance first so you will get favor points um, from killing the Jadinkos and I'll tell you what you need to know absolutely to make sure um, to make sure that those favor points go to good use and not to waste them because I have had a couple of friends who wasted the favor points because they did not have their herbal or habitat set up correctly uh, these are the Jadinko males the Jadinko guards are in the next room which is right over here, and the Jadenko babies are in the following room. They all have the exact same way to kill them, so uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just attack them with melee. They are extremely weak to melee. They die extremely fast. You can pot up with your extreme set if you want. I'm not going to be staying here very long. Even though this is my Slayer task, I'm not going to be doing it right now, so I don't worry too much about that. But as you see, they die extremely fast, um, and I have bonus defense XP for some reason. I'm not really sure how that happened. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I will take any kind of extra defense XP that I can get. Um, so that's how you kill the mutated Jadenko males. Um, so I guess just keep that in mind. Uh, it's very easy. And I'll make sure to show you guys uh, what you want to do to make sure that you're not wasting your favor points um, when you are eventually turning them in. Because you get 10 favor points per Jadenko kill. 
Um, and after that fills up, because that will fill up, you get about 200 or so Jodenkos every single task. So you will fill up your favorite points. Um, and every single Jodenko task, you come over here to this offering stone. You click withdraw all rewards. And you get those really useful Herbler Habitat seeds from these. So I'd really recommend do that. Just spend them on seeds and teleport bags. You don't want to do random mix or fruits only because those are a waste. But just spend them on seeds and teleport bags. And you will get, uh, you know, Samadon seeds, Yugun seeds, some of those really useful seeds. Okay, so before you spend any points on seeds, you want to make sure that you have a flower planted in this patch right here. It says red vine blossom. There are red, blue, and green vine blossoms. It does not matter which one you plant. Just plant any of them. If you do not have one of these planted, you will not get any of the Herblore Habitat seeds when you spend um, your reward points on the offering stone. So you want to make sure that you have that planted. You can buy one of the flower seeds from Papa Mambo, who is up there in the distance. Can you see him? Uh, you can't quite see him. But just you know take my word for it when i say he's up there in the distance i'll run over and say hi to him really quick just so you guys can see what's up there he is there's papa mambo but yeah you just trade with him so anyway that's going to be about all for this slayer guide um hopefully you guys enjoyed i will say that this guide is in a playlist the playlist link will be in the description as long as i remember to put it in there and if i don't then shame on me but um, if you need any more help with any more guides, I will eventually get to the point where every single Slayer guide that Curdle assigns is done, and they'll all be in one playlist just for you guys. And if any more Slayer monsters come out, I'll make guides for them too. So that's going to be about all for this video. Make sure to check out my other Slayer guides if you need them. Thanks for watching, and farewell.